Hi, and welcome to this quick Excel tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use AI to generate a PDF and Word document report from some raw data like this. This data could be imported into Excel. It could be a CSV file, a regular text file. We're going to put it into AI and get a nice, helpful report like this. Here's the PDF. And here is our Word document. It takes just seconds with the right prompt. I'm going to show you how to do that here, how to change it for your needs, and then give you the full prompt completely free from teachexcel.com. I'll put a link to it below this video. So let's take a closer look at the data that we have here. It is basic sales data. We have name, email, and four quarters. It's not formatted because I'm assuming that here we have exported it from another system a system that tracks all of the sales, compiles it, and then you can export a little bit of data from that system or a lot of data. But now we need to make something actionable from it. Now we go over to our AI. This one is ChatGPT5, but quite a lot of them will do this in a similar fashion. I've pasted in the prompt that we are going to go over in just a moment. Now we copy in the file our raw sales data there. And it is just off the screen. Where are you? Enter button. Click the button or hit enter. Let's fast forward a bit. And in just a moment, you are going to have something that looks like this. We have a summary of the initial data, not very useful for us in this case. We have the original prompt. And down here, a nice, neat, simple response. Download the Word report, download the PDF report. And that's how we got this Word report. And we can control each section. We say what sections we want to appear and what we want to appear within that section. The PDF document is simply a PDF version of this. But PDFs are great because it's a little bit easier to attach to an email and send it out without someone changing anything by accident. So now you've seen what we're making and how we make it, let's go to the prompt itself. And here is our prompt. We've got one line that says what it's going to do. Some more information about that, including that we want a Word document and a PDF. Now, if you've watched my other AI tutorials, you will know that I do advise making these sections as explicit as possible, putting separators between them, making it visually very, very clear. So this would be the minimal amount of visual separation that I would advise. You can do a lot more, but this will work just fine in this case. Then next we say the report must include only, if you don't include only here, only the following sections, it will add some additional sections that it thinks should be there. So we have title and date, we have executive summary, and notice that each additional section follows this pattern, the title, then a dash, then what it should include in that section, total sales, average, top, and lowest performer with amounts. Overall sales performance, key metrics clearly listed. Now, of course, you could say which metrics. I want this, I want that, put it like this, put the name of the metric, then a colon, space, dollar sign, the value of that metric. You can give examples. You can use quotation marks to say, example, key metric name, something like that for the dollar value, or like that to be a bit more explicit. And what I'd advise is that you first start with a simple prompt like this, and then slowly build it out to be as extensive as you'd like it to be with as many examples as you'd like. Eventually you'll end up with quite an impressive prompt, a very, very big one. And that's fine. That is perfect. Get it how you need it for your data. Then you can copy and paste it in whenever you need it and get your results within seconds. The rest of the prompt follows that same format. So all you have to do is to download this prompt, use it as your base level prompt and update it for your needs from there. 
You can get this prompt for free on teachexcel.com. I've got a link to it below this video. Click the link, go there, sign up for the free account, and then you can download the prompt and use it in your projects. If you enjoyed this quick little tutorial, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And if any of your friends would find it helpful, go ahead and share it with them, and that will really help us out. Thank you very much. Have a great day. See you next time.